Moose and thank you so much for joining me back here. I'm actually really excited to record this video because this has been the best reading month of the year so far for me. And realistically of the year because I probably won't read as much in December as I read in November. So today we are going to do my November wrap up. So in the month of November I read five books, which is good for me because my goal is only two a month. So the first book I read this month was Scythe by Neil Shusterman and I really enjoyed this book. I read this book at the very, very beginning of the month, talking like November 1st, November 2nd, something like that. So it has been a while, but I think I remember more or less what I wanted to say about it. First of all, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. I think the concept of the book is is very interesting the fact that death is no longer a thing anymore and so people kind of have to be reapers they're called scythes in the book that's why it's called scythes but yeah people within the society are basically tasked with kind of maintaining the population and keeping it under control so in case you haven't read this book or don't know anything about it this book is about two teenagers who are kind of brought on as apprentices apprentice apprentices I don't know. <laughs> I should know, but I don't know. And so they kind of see what it's like to be a scythe, what all goes into it, what you have to do, all that kind of stuff. And the book is centered around their different experiences as apprentices. I'm going to say apprentices. <laughs> and yeah, it was really good. Um, I will say I don't think the romance aspect in this book was necessary. I don't really think it added a lot to the story. Um, I think a platonic relationship would have sufficed perfectly fine for what the purpose of it was. Um, not that anything actually happened, you know, but there was that romantic aspect there and I just don't think it was necessary. The biggest thing I want to say about this book is I think it could be a standalone. Thunderhead is the second book and then The Toll, which is the last book in the trilogy, just came out. And I don't really have a desire to read either of those. I feel like I got a complete story while reading this one. I feel like if I never pick up the other two, I'm fine. Yes, there's a little bit of cliffhanger, but I'm not yearning to continue this series, if that makes sense. I think if you want to try the series out and you just kind of want to read the first book, if you decide not to continue on with the series, that you still have a complete story at the end of it. That's just my personal opinion. I liked it. Definitely check it out if you've been on the fence about it. It's good. So, during the rest of the month, I was reading the A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Mass. I did finish this entire series this month, which is a feat for me because I don't usually read that much in a month. Um, but it was that good. So I kind of want to talk about the whole series as a whole. Um, I will kind of talk about each book individually very briefly, but overall I just kind of want to talk about the whole storyline. So A Court of Thorns and Roses, I did do a reading vlog on this if you're interested in checking that out. And I said a lot of what I'm getting ready to say in that video already, but I'll go ahead and repeat it in case you don't want to watch that video. This is often considered a Beauty and the Beast retelling. I can definitely see that for the most part, especially up until the end, but the rest of the series is not. So the first book, yes, is a retelling, the whole series, it's not. A lot of stores categorize this as YA, you know, teen fiction. I don't agree with that. Um, I had someone tell me on my, one of my videos that this series is considered new adult. I more so agree with that. There is a lot of, like, sexual stuff within the series, so more so new adult, which I think is completely ridiculous anyway that those genres are split up. To me, young adult and new adult are the same in my head. Like, I'm a new adult, I'm a young adult. To me, young adult and teen should be split and new adult shouldn't even be a thing. Anyways, maybe I'll make a video on that. But yeah, either way, traditionally what is categorized as YA and teen, this is not it should not be in that category in my opinion. So I did enjoy the first one, I think. I think I enjoyed the second one the best, um, A Court of Mist and Fury. It was super good. For those of you who don't know about this series, I'll just briefly kind of give you a summary. 
Um, it's about a girl named Feyre who lives in the mortal world. She's a human who is brought into the Fey world and she falls in love with the Fey. She kind of gets accustomed to their world, um, kind of gets dragged in more so than she ever expected to, and then things happen. Um, I don't really want to spoil the whole series for you, but it's good. There's a lot of romance in it. As I already mentioned before, there is sexual content in it, which I do want to touch on in a second. It's a political fantasy, if I had to categorize it. There's it's, it's a fantasy novel, but there's also like political strife and conflict between different courts and kingdoms and kind of stuff like that. So if you're into that kind of stuff, I do recommend this series. I feel like people either love it or they hate it. I am in the ring where I really enjoyed it. I read the whole series in a month, like I say, and that's not usual for me. So I enjoyed the books. They're not perfect. They have some problems with them for sure. And it's not something I'm going to sit around and think about for years to come. Um, you know, it'll never be a classic or anything like that. There's nothing prolific in it that will just change my life forever, but I did enjoy the story for what it was. With that being said, some problems I had with the book. Um, one, the sexual content was not necessary for me. I felt like, how do I put this? A little bit is fine, but I felt like there were comments and remarks throughout the entire series that just didn't fit into the context. You know, like the characters would be in one situation and you'd kind of get like a flash into their mind of what they were thinking and they would be thinking about their partner in that way. And to me, I'm just like, you're in the middle of a war. That's probably not what I would be thinking about. So yeah, I did think that was a little excessive. And the scenes themselves were just kind of cringe to me. I felt like, I've never read any Sarah J Mass before. Let me just say that. But I felt like she tried a little bit too hard to make it steamy and erotic, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it just wasn't necessary. A lot of people don't like Feyre. Um, I'm kind of on the other side of that. I don't mind Feyre. A lot of people don't like how she jumps back and forth. Um, and they kind of say that she doesn't need a man and that the choices she made didn't really fit with her character, but... Uh, eh, I don't really... I don't... I don't know. I'm all about strong female characters, but I think that just because you have a mate or a male or whatever doesn't mean that you need them. Just for example, I love Ethan more than anything, um, and I would be absolutely devastated if something ever happened to him. Absolutely. I would, my world would fall apart. But he's been gone the past three months and I've been fine. You know, I've, I've survived. I've done my own thing. I have my own life apart from him. So I guess maybe I sympathize with Feyre a little more than a lot of people do. And when people talk about a female character having, you know, a man in her life as a bad thing, um, I, don't, I don't agree with that. I know that's not a very popular opinion when it comes to booktube and just novels in general, but I think that just because a female character has a man in her life does not, that doesn't make her weak. I don't know. I don't know if what I'm trying to say is actually getting across appropriately, but I didn't mind Feyre or the relationships that she had. The last thing I want to talk about is kind of spoilery. So if you haven't read the series yet and you are planning on it and don't want it to be spoiled, maybe stop the video here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you have read the series or you don't care about spoilers, um, here we go. The whole thing with Tamlin to me was weird. And that's one of the biggest problems I have with the book. So the whole thing where Feyre kind of destroys Tamlin's court and Tamlin teams up with Highburn and all that kind of stuff, <sighs> Feyre and Reese act like, oh, first of all, I started calling him Reese, 
in my reading vlog, I was calling him Rise and Rise and, and my brain still wants to do that, but I forced myself to call him Reese. So, back to what I was saying. I feel like Feyre and Reese kind of made Tamlin out to be the biggest villain ever. And they were talking about how awful he was and how he didn't really deserve forgiveness and he deserved everything that had happened to him. And I don't really agree. <laughs> no, Tamlin shouldn't have forced his ways on Feyre. Um, you know, he should have let her cope the way that she needed to. But at the same time, it's not like his intentions were bad. He was trying to protect her. He was really just doing the best that he could, in my opinion. So for them to go and say that that was evil and the worst thing that could ever happen and blah, 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 blah. I don't, I, like, I, again, I don't necessarily agree with that. Did he make some bad choices? Yeah, all right, but so did everybody else in the book, in the series. And I don't think he deserved to lose everything that he had. Um, Partially it was his fault, he pushed people away towards the end, but I don't think, you know, he deserved all of that, so. That was probably my biggest gripe with the whole, the whole series, is the way that Tamlin's storyline ended. I didn't think it was necessary, but yeah. So, that's what I read this month, mostly A Court of Thorns and Roses, um, and Scythe. Again, I did enjoy the series, I liked it, I know a lot of people don't, but I liked it. It was like a fluff piece for me. I enjoyed it. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe down below. Let me know your thoughts. Alright? Everybody is talking about A Court of Thorns and Roses, it seems like, on booktube right now. And I want to know what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? As long as you're respectful. I don't care. You can disagree with me. My ear is open. Let's talk about it. Anyways, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back here next time. See ya! My voice is leaving me. <laughs>